Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today, we're gonna to talk about the long and short wall setup in rectangular rooms. Most people set up on the short wall, rectangular room, they put their left and their right channels here. You can also set up on the long wall. So let's let's look at both situations and see uh, what, what the differences are. Obviously with the short wall, we're gonna have shorter sidewall distances so we're going to have energy reflecting off the sidewalls at the listening or monitoring position. So this time signature has to be managed correctly because we all know that the balance between the reflected and the direct energy from our speakers is critical in image uh, focus definition and, and all the other variables that we have to deal with. So. The typical setup is on the short wall. People like to fire the speakers down the long length of the rectangular room, which is fine as long as you have some minimum distances here. Minimum distance is four to five feet. Let's keep that in mind. Obviously, with a longer setup here, we have bigger distances for our sidewall reflections, which is good because it's less... Uh, time domain signatures that we have to manage uh, through absorption or diffusion. But then in rectangular rooms, the long wall setup presents another set of issues because then we shorten the distance from the listening position to the rear wall. So it's kind of six to one and half a dozen of the other, as they used to say uh, back uh, many years ago. So it just depends on what you're trying to accomplish. Obviously, it depends on your distances and volume of the room. So both can work for you, but it's always this direct versus reflected energy paradigm that we have to keep in focus. So short wall setups, smaller sidewall distances, more need for uh, time domain reflection management. Long wall set up less uh, of a distance on the side walls, but then the rear wall, in this case, comes into play, and then we have to treat the rear wall because we don't want that energy coming back on us. So it's kind of a balancing act. Uh, depends on what your objective is, always usage, what you're trying to do in the room, and the distances that we have to work with. If we set up long ways on a rectangular room, then our diffusion, if that's what we're going to use for this treatment, must have enough distance to work with. So it's a balancing act. It's uh, no right, no wrong. You just have to match the usage uh, with what you're trying to accomplish. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed our videos today. And if you did, we really would appreciate a thumbs up from you. If you have any questions or comments, you can go to the comment section. Or you can go to our website, AcousticFields.com, and fill out the contact form. Subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel. We're now doing two videos a week. If you have some ideas for topics, you can uh, submit those to us also. If you're having room issues, we have that free room analysis. You can click on the button below, and we'll compare your room to our database of 120 built rooms that uh, we built and actually measured, and I guarantee you your room is in that database. So just click on the button below for the free room analysis. Thank you.